Yo, this is Rick Mahorn, the bad boy, giving a shout out to my man, Drew, Detroit Drew. Make sure you tune in on his YouTube channel, Detroit Drew, bad boy. Are you ready? That is not a beer, a Drew Weiser, for a celebration. That is not a Drew Weiser for a good time. Well, let's take that back. Because Bleacher Report is definitely on the bottle. Bleacher Report is having a good old time. They must be drinking some of that good stuff. They might have bottles of Henny right now. They got top shelf stuff. They got a entire bar full of Drew Weisers right now. Because after reading this article, no, no, I'm gonna take the back. I didn't read this article. At first, I seen it on Twitter, and I was like, dude, come on, dude. Seriously, like, who made that up? Like, why is someone wasting my time with this? I was like, you know what, I'm curious. I'm gonna type this in. And I kid you not, this is a real thing from Bleacher Report. It was like the 10 desperate um, trades for desperate teams or something like that. And like, Cleveland got CP3 and some other good stuff happened for other teams but come to the Detroit Pistons no we have to turn around two of our young core members in my high who can say Kudumboya plus Don Maker but I'm okay with that to Indiana which is a rival in our division which you know that's not really a big thing in the NBA anymore straight up for TJ Warren yes I've said that right and yes, your eyes are working. That is the legit trade Bleacher Report said both these teams should do. Now, for Indiana, hell yeah, you do that in a heartbeat. What does the Detroit Pistons gain from this? Absolutely nothing at all. Why? <laughs> Bleacher Report, bro, you're giving me free content, bro. I, I, I kind of admire it because I... Like, I like doing these videos. Well, I really don't like doing these videos because I want to talk about the Pistons and what I think they should and shouldn't do. This is definitely a shouldn't do move. If you think this is a good move for the Pistons, you don't know basketball. I expect to see some funny comments of saying, oh, yeah, TJ Warren, man, go for it. I expect that. Hell, I'd love to have TJ Warren. He's a good player. But not for the expense of these guys, man. These are, these are guys who, for one, you shouldn't be trading Seiko at all right now. He's been on the team for, like, 60 games before the season got ended. You don't trade him. Not yet. Maybe three or four years if it doesn't pan out. Maybe you open up the conversation, but not now. Hell, I'm cool with trading Luke Kennard and my high Luke if the deal's right, but not for a guy like TJ Warren. Come on. Like, I'm, I'm trying to be funny. Like, I'm trying to think of stuff like, dude, I can't even make fun of this because the jokes are writing themselves right now. Like, Bleacher Report, he's got the big red nose, poofy green afro in the big red shoes right now because this dude is a clown like seriously man i already had a video ready to go for the day but now i have to talk about this because bleacher report outside of espn and stuff like that is supposed to be one of the most res i guess i shouldn't say respectable because i don't respect them right now but it's supposed to be one of the better and biggest uh news for not just for the nba but for the nfl and sports in general but when you post stuff like this, it makes you look idiotic. It makes you look dumb. Nobody can defend this. And I'm looking forward to battling people who are saying, hey, man, this is a good trade. It is not a good trade. For the Pacers, it's an absolute steal. For the Pistons, you give me nothing. I was actually going to talk about trading for Victor Oladipo today because on the same Bleach Report, they talked about the Pistons trade for Oladipo. At least throw Oladipo in here, so at least it makes a little bit more sense. But we're trading three players away. Two of them are part of the young core who are going to get better. Yes, they are going to get better. Thon Maker, I'm cool with. For one role player. There is not a single role player in the league I'm trading three people for, straight up. No cash considerations, no draft picks, nothing. It ain't happening. If this is a superstar, then yeah. But 
TJ Warren, bro. TJ Warren. Bitch Report, this is who the Pistons should draft that if they're being desperate right now. This is who they should draft. We have Blake Griffin and Derrick Rose who are 31, both battle injuries. But TJ Warren is the guy we should trade. Sekou Dubois, whose potential is unlimited. My high Luke, who's going to be one of the better three-point shooters in the league. Away for TJ Warren, because he's going to be a better fit with Blake Griffin and Derrick Rose. He's going to be the guy who takes the Pistons back to the playoffs and makes them win a playoff game. No, absolutely not. I can't, I can't even believe I'm trying to make sense about this. Like, if you see this trade, you should know it makes no sense. But I have to because people on Twitter, again, the NBA Twitter, a lot of young dudes, to be honest with you, a lot of guys who haven't even finished high school yet are on here saying, yeah, do it, man. It makes sense. No, they don't. Come on. They're, they're, there's no beating around the bush. Giggity. Uh, th this, is, this is dumb, idiotic. If, if this ever did happen... I would never, never watch the Pistons again. But it's not going to happen. So I don't have to worry about it because I'm Detroit Drew. I'm going to be here because we don't make idiotic moves like that. Well, all the time. We still make idiotic moves, but at least moves that make a little, little bit more sense than this. This this makes zero. I guess leave it down in the comments, man. What do you what do you guys think? I want to see some funny replies. I want to see you guys ripping the Bleach Report. And I look forward to ripping some of you guys who think this is, this is a good trade. Please come at me with statistics if you think this is a good trade because it makes zero sense. I can't even make up the words for it. Zero sense. Instagram, Twitter, DSA numbers, DSA website, uh, all in the description, man. Make sure you guys go check all that stuff out. And I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow, Saturday. Um, before I say my stuff, before I say Detroit Drew says so, Saturday, 7, 7 30 p.m., JMO's channel. We'll be live for a bump the rim. It feels like it's the beginning of the week. It's almost the end of the week, so I gotta start plugging it. So, sorry. And that's the bottom line because Detroit Drew said so. Peace.